So SUM is a faith-inspired housing, human services, and healthcare organization. SUM was founded over half a century ago by Father Horace McKenna, a Jesuit priest. The purpose was to serve people in need, and now we are a multi-dimensional organization from housing to health care. We have medical, dental, behavioral health, and we still feed people in our dining centers, food pantries. We've served meals every single day for over half a century, no matter what. What I love about SUM is our five-year strategic plan. So I want us to talk a little bit about whole person care. You know, whole person care is not a new term. It's something that's been around for quite a while in healthcare as we start to understand that individuals have more than just a medical condition, right? So when people walk in our door, we're going to treat them as a whole person. And part of that too was also being culturally competent and culturally affirming. So just making sure that our services are tailored to their specific traditions is really important. Knowing that the population we serve is 99% people of color, that is a huge onus on us to really start examining and looking at how are we providing services? Are we doing it in a way that's equitable to ensure that our clients feel safe when they walk in the door? Don, tell us a little bit about the financial strength. We're a half a billion to three quarters of a billion dollar organization. In a corporate world, that's an amazing number. By 2026, our operating annually should be $55 million. And then from a fundraising standpoint, we're going to do a 10% increase every year for the next three years. We're going to be working on housing acquisition so that we can increase our program opportunities. I think we're in a really good place. One of the joys that I have also in my role as performance and impact is to craft a way that we can study and improve our performance. Mm -hmm. Let's look at our programs. What's working? What's not working well? So just like we all get health checks, our organizations should get checkups as well. There's another change that I want to talk about, Don, and that's the branding change. Some has had its traditional logo for the last 50 years. It is the hands feeding those through soup. It is no longer just a soup kitchen. We do so much more. So that had to be reflected in our logo and our image and who we are. What makes you excited about the future? So I am really excited about the amount of new housing and the new populations that we're going to be serving, like runaway and homeless youth and domestic violence survivors. For me, I think it's, it's having the, the roadmap. And I also love the fact that we have the ability to measure it, too. For me, it's our staff. Like, our staff is incredible. It's never about titles. It's never about egos. It's about the work, and it's about being in service.